So you have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, and you have an issue where it's constantly stuck in a uh, boot loop. Basically, it keeps restarting like this over and over and over. I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running. Now, first thing, take note that this one is fixed, but let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop. It's just constantly restarting. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to force it to restart. How you do that, you want to press and hold the volume down and power button. Press and hold both buttons and do not let go until we see the Samsung logo. This tip typically takes about 30 seconds, okay? So let's pretend that I'm stuck in a boot loop right now. And we'll do this together. Volume down, power. Ready? One, two, three, go. Press and hold both buttons and just keep on holding. Pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. I'm just holding on to the volume down, power button, just waiting for a Samsung logo to appear. Typically takes about 30 seconds, okay? So I'm still holding here still holding technically i can let go right now but um for you guys just keep holding the both buttons all right just keep on holding until we see the samsung logo appear samsung logo go ahead and let go and hopefully now you are out of the boot loop if you're still stuck in it we're going to go to step number two step number two okay so first thing is uh go ahead and turn your phone over to the side and what you want to do is you want to spam the power button you want to press the power button in and out because it's possible that your power button is causing the uh, boot loop. Your power button could be uh, jammed. It could be stuck. It could be uh, this. Could be um, coffee in there, or, or juice, or lint, or hand lotion. Spam it. Power button here. In and out like this, crazy. Get it all nice and loose in there. Now go ahead and plug in your charging cable. Okay, plug it in. Wait about five seconds. And now while it's charging, we're going to do the same thing again. Okay volume down power ready one two three press and hold both buttons and do not let go until we see a samsung logo okay pretend i'm still stuck in a boot loop here and i am still charging my phone it's plugged in i'm just going to hold these two buttons till i see a samsung logo appear again it typically takes about 30 seconds so i'm still holding still holding come on where's that samsung logo there it is, it just vibrated, Samsung logo, go ahead and let go, and hopefully now you are out of the boot loop. If you're still in it, we're gonna to go to um, possible step number three, okay? So step number three, you can go ahead and unplug your phone. Now, this next um, step here, what we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna to try to wipe your cache partition. Now, some of you guys will be able to get in the screen, others may not, okay? Now, wiping the cache partition, that only deletes your temporary files that you don't even need anyway. Deleting the temporary files, I mean, um, if, the, if your um, cache partition gets cluttered, uh, it can cause issues with the phone. You can have error messages, camera um, er error messages. It can make your phone slow and laggy. It can even cause a boot loop as well, okay? So, so how do we wipe the cache partition? Listen very carefully. Volume down, power button. We wanna press and hold both buttons, and we wanna count to 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, I'm only gonna let go of the volume down and press and hold the volume up. And I, I never take my finger off the uh, power button. And I just sit like this until the Samsung logo appears, then I let go. So we're gonna do this together. Let's pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. Volume down, power button, okay? Ready, volume down, power. Ready, one, two, three, go. Hold it for 15 seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then volume up. Now I'm only holding the power button and volume up. And let me just hold here until a Samsung logo appears. Okay, now us waiting right here, it may take 30 seconds from now. It may take 10 seconds. Samsung logo, go ahead and let go. Now this, this will boot it up into the Android recovery menu, as you can see here. Okay, hopefully you guys can get to the screen. And wiping the cache partition is down here, white data or white cache partition. Okay, so you can use the volume rockers to move up or down. You wanna to go to white cache partition. One more other thing to note too, guys, if you guys get to, get to the screen and all of my methods don't work for you, you always have the other option here. If you can see the screen, you can do a uh, white data slash factory reset, but you're gonna lose every, all your information, everything on your phone, okay? Anyway, this one here, we're gonna to go to white cache partition, right there. To select it, you want to press on the power button. Okay, so we're going to press on the power button. And this little message here pops up. This basically says, once you do this, this cannot be undone. That's perfectly fine. We're going to go down to uh, volume down to highlight yes. 
and then we're going to press on the power button. As soon as I press on the power button, look down here. As soon as I press it, watch how fast this is. Cache wipe complete. Okay, we're done. And now it defaults or it highlights back up here. It says reboot system now, which is exactly what we want. So to select it, we're going to press the power button. So tap the power button and go ahead and let it uh, reboot normally. And hopefully when it boots back up, it doesn't keep rebooting. Now, if you're still um, stuck in a boot loop, even after wiping the cache partition, the next thing I have for you is what I call the tap method. Okay, so what simply we're going to do is we're going to hold the phone like this, use two fingers, and you're going to tap all over the screen and all over the back. Okay, and basically, you know, this the basis behind this is uh, you may have something that's slightly like dislodged, and a couple simple tap, you can believe it or not, can go ahead and pop it in place. All of a sudden, the boot loop will automatically get out as well. Okay. So pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop here. Use two fingers and we just want to keep on tapping, okay? Just keep on tapping here. You know, pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop. Just keeps restarting over and over again. Just keep tapping like this. Turn it over and then we're going to tap on here as well. Give us some nice taps, even around the lens here too, okay? All around there. Try to get everywhere. Try to tap it. And then turn it over and sometimes when you turn it back over, all of a sudden you're at your login screen, okay? Anyway, if you're still stuck in the boot loop from right now, or right now, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna force restart it, okay? Volume down, power, press and hold both buttons, and do not let go, and TC the Samsung logo peer, then let go, okay? Now hopefully you're out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in it, next thing we're gonna do is what I call the massage method. Same premise as like tapping, except this time we're gonna be massaging it. We're gonna be pressing into the screen and all over the back, okay? You can get like a cloth or a paper towel, or something if you don't want to smudge up your screen but basically hold the phone like this and then what you want to do is use your thumbs and you want to press in press in press in okay sometimes you hear a little click too you hear the click and all of a sudden you look at your phone and then give it a few seconds and it just boots up into your login screen anyway press press give it a nice massage all over all over okay all over and same thing on the back here press 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 all over press even around the lens here okay but press press give it a nice massage here turn it over ah uh, you're still stuck in a boot loop no problem force restart remember volume down power press and hold both buttons and do not let go until the samsung logo appears then let go and hopefully you are up and running now if not we're going to go to the next possible method is what i call the smack method so what we're going to do is just go ahead and hold your hand out like this what we're going to do is we're going to smack the screen and also smack the back of the phone. Pretty much the same thing as the uh, the tap method or the massage, okay? So it doesn't matter what side we start off. We can start off on the screen here. Hold your hand, your palm out like this, and we're going to give it a couple of whacks. Oops. A couple of whacks also on the bottom of the screen too, okay? Give it a couple of whacks there. All right, and same thing on the back side, okay? Give it a couple of whacks. Also on the bottom back. And then see, look at your phone. Ah, uh, you're still stuck in a boot loop. No problem. From here again, volume down, power. Press and hold both buttons and do not let go until you see the Samsung logo appear. Then you can let go, okay? Hopefully you're up and running now. If not, then the last method I have, I have for you is the freezer method. So basically... I want you to do this. Grab your phone just like this as is, and I want you to go to your refrigerator, and I want you to put this in your freezer, the coldest part of your refrigerator. Leave it in there for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take your cold phone out and do the same thing. Volume down power, force restart it, press and hold both buttons, and do not let go until you see the Samsung logo appear, then let go. Now the thing is, if you tried every single step here and it didn't work the first time, then I would advise try it two times doesn't work all the way around three times sometimes the seventh time is a charm okay now for a lot of you guys it's going to take you third fourth fifth sixth maybe the seventh time okay anyway if this works for you go ahead and give me a like and comment which me uh, which method worked for you if it didn't work for you give me a thumbs down we should see at least a 60 percent thumbs up if you tried every single step at least seven times okay anyway good luck guys